We are excited to announce and share the first ever comprehensive OER textbook on the care and education of infants and toddlers. It took about one year to complete the project and it would not have been possible without everyone on the amazing project team. So before we introduce the textbook, we wanted to acknowledge the team. On the screen is a list of the seven project team members and a map depicting the seven different colleges we represent. The overall goal of our project was to create enough chapters to cover most of all the topics discussed in college courses on infants and toddlers. In completing the research and preparation for submitting our application, we realized that across the state of California, there is not a uniform set of infant and toddler courses. Given this, we wanted to create a textbook that was comprehensive in its breadth and depth, as well as flexible enough so that the content could be used in any infant and toddler course, not an easy task. The final version of our project is an online OER textbook with a total of 34 sections hosted on LibreText. The 34 sections each focus on a specific topic and are designed to be standalone. What does this mean? Rather than one massive chapter on language development, for example, we divided language into four specific topics, theories of language acquisition, overall language development, supporting language and group care, and multilingualism. Having smaller, more specific chapters not only makes the content easier to digest for students, it also affords professors the ability to select only the specific chapters that best fit their content needs. Additionally, as a professor teaching an infant and toddler class will most likely not use all of the chapters in their course, we designed each chapter to be standalone. This means that the chapters do not reference each other and every time a topic is presented, even if it is covered in another chapter, it is defined and explained as if it was the first time it is presented. Let's now take a look at a chapter to show how it is laid out and how someone can navigate through it. When you click on the chapter titled Supporting Language and Group Care, you are taken to a page that lists the main sections of the chapter. From here, you can download the entire chapter as a PDF, navigate to a specific section of interest, or begin at the introduction section and move through each consecutive section in order. Let's start with the introduction section and navigate through a few of the sections. As you can see, because the chapter is divided into sections, with each section presented independently of the others, we hope the content is more student friendly and less daunting to read. At the bottom of each section page is a navigation option to continue on to the next section or return to the previous section. In creating our textbook, we set out to not only create a high quality OER textbook, but we also strive to improve upon the content of the currently published books. For example, we included important topics not included in currently published textbooks, such as infant and toddler mental health, nutrition, and multilingualism. We also weaved a global perspective into the content as a step toward creating a more culturally diverse and anti-racist textbook that brings culture and race ethnicity and individual differences to the forefront.
let's take a quick look at another chapter to see what a difference color images can make. In writing this chapter, I utilize social media to connect with infant toddlers teachers to curate these images. I'm part of numerous, numerous social media groups and through these groups, members share pictures of their infant and toddler environments they've created. In reaching out to each teacher, I had the opportunity to share about the project we were creating and even more importantly, what open education resources are. I was continually pleased with the amount of teachers excited to share their environments. Because of this, we were able to provide resources full of beautiful environments actually used by infant and toddler centers. And we can see how important it is to be able to see the the color images um, in these infant and toddler environments. If we're looking at something for lighting and comfort, being able to see these images in other than black and white and, and not have to pay to print those out is a, um, a big advantage for our students. And so we were also able to, without having to worry about paying for copyright, uh, copyrighted images and curate it that way, we're able to get very robust pictures that you often don't find in a lot of environmental textbooks because each of those can cost money for an author to curate. So um, through the textbook, and especially through these environment chapters, we were able to put together some really neat examples of environment and its use in um, infant and toddler classrooms. Using LibreText as the hosting website has many benefits. It allows teachers to flexibly use the content to best fit the needs of their specific class since teachers can easily choose from the 34 chapters that are needed for their class. Furthermore, teachers can easily incorporate the content into their learning management system, such as Canvas, by uploading a PDF of the content or providing students with a hyperlink directly to the content. Students also have flexibility when on LibreText. Students can choose to read the content on the website or print chapters or sections if they prefer to read highlight and take notes on paper. We hope our new OER textbook on infant and toddler development will be adopted and adapted across colleges in the US and even globally. The information in our chapters can of course benefit early childhood education courses, but also courses in psychology, nutrition, and speech and language pathology, to name a few. We look forward to seeing how our textbook is adopted and adapted in the future.